to your life by the spirit of the prophets and by the power that disgraced Goliath. The powers that put Herod to shame. By the power that sank Pharaoh. That this year you will progress and prosper. Beyond your wildest imagination. We name of Jesus. By the decree of heaven, your life shall be plugged into the socket of divine favor. In the name of Jesus, and any power that does not want your existence, they shall scatter unto pieces in the name of Jesus. And by the oracles of the living God, any dry bone in any life. Come my life now in the name of Jesus. Come my life. 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 In the name of Jesus. Come my life. In the name of Jesus. Let your amen be loudest in this declaration upon your life. For the rest of this year, your mouth shall be larger than the mouth of your enemies. In the name of Jesus. from you. The lion of Judah shall roar. And recover everything you have lost. And recover everything you have lost. And recover everything you have lost. In the name of Jesus. By the power that divided the Red Sea. Any key the enemy has stolen from you. Recover your key in the name of Jesus. Recover it, recover it, recover it, recover it, recover it. Let your amen roll like thunder. Recover your key, recover your key, recover that key. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, by the power of El Shaddai, the problems that consume others shall not consume you in the name of Jesus. Any good thing swallowed by satanic serpents is vomited now in the name of Jesus. And every enemy that wants you in the grave, they shall replace you in that grave in the name of Jesus. Let your amen roll like thunder. Any prison house confronting your destiny shall be scattered to pieces in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. And that occultic power assigned to kill anyone here. Kill your senders and die. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. A louder amen. Let's have a seat for a few minutes. God bless us to do so. It is this time now to go into deliverance of the family tree. But I need to say a few words before we start praying. The serpents in the family bloodline. Hey, the serpents in the family bloodline. That is the theme of the prayers. We're going to start praying very soon. Let's see an example of that in Genesis. Genesis chapter 32. 
from 24. The serpents in the family bloodline. I see somebody here this morning. Your enemies are already regretting that you are here. And what they think you will not achieve. You will overachieve it in the name of Jesus. Genesis 32 24 talks about the story of Jacob. The one you see behind you. And Jacob was left alone. And there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh. And the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint. As he wrestled with him. And he said, Let me go. For the day break it. And he said, I will not let thee go. Except thou bless me. And he said unto him, What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob. But Israel. For as a prince, I was thou power with God and with men, and has prevailed. Look at the prayer point of Jacob in verse 26. His prayer point is bless me. Bless me. Say, I will not let you go. Now that I've identified you as a member of the heavenly host, you are not going away until you bless me. So Jacob knew that although he had wives, he had children, he had cattle, he had everything, Jacob knew that he was not a blessed man. So what was Jacob trying to tell that angel? It means except you remove this curse. I will not let you go. So Jacob had been battling with a generational curse. And that curse had been pursuing him for 21 years or so. He kept running. He kept running. He kept running. He, kept running. he ran to Laban. His mother's brother. In the house of Laban he was duped by Laban. If Jacob thought he was poor one night, that is a cheat. <laughs> Laban was a four one ten. So he dealt with Jacob. Replace his wife. Give him the wrong wife, made him serve seven years for another one. But Jacob saw that there was a curse working on him. A generational one. And he had to break it. At the end of the day, as a result of the battle that he fought that night, he wrestled in prayers. There was a change. The bottom line is this. When there is a serpent in the blood of the family, something running in the blood, you look at great grandfather. Same problem. Baba, Baba, any isuro kono. Father, same problem. Baba, any isuro kono. Lomba wong. Grandfather, same problem. Baba, Baba, any yogo isuro kono. Mother, same problem. Iya isuro kono. Grandmother, same problem. Iya iya any isuro kono. Great grandmother, same problem. Baba, Baba, iya iya. That will have told you straight away. Ile ni o dia keke. There is something moving from person to person. Moving from person to person. That 
now so I'm going to pray this prayer now. And you need 10 violent amen to the prayer. I'm praying for anyone here laboring under any curse by the power in the blood of Jesus. Let the curse be broken now in the name of Jesus. You see, the strength of the enemy is the maintenance of your ignorance. You're ignorant. The enemy continues to prey on you and to cheat you. Physical doctors, medical doctors, they know that you can get what is in your parents. And sometimes when you go to them, they say, Is there anybody in your family with disease, stress, or diabetes? Is there anybody in your family with glaucoma? They ask you because they know it moves. I'm praying that any serpent in the bloodline of anyone here that is raging there with a tenfold amen let the serpents die in the name of Jesus The serpent is on families. They start getting ahead. All of a sudden, everything falls apart. Some, they fall into their parents' sin. Some are beginning to notice. That evil, evil things said to you by your parents are coming to pass. All kinds of strange things are happening. You are suffering from the law of diminishing returns. This is a very, very serious matter. I know a family of six. Four males, two females. All the males got blind at the age of 25. The only one whose heart is open was the one that went for deliverance at prayer six. There are some families that divorced, 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 married and these are the serpents we are going to deal with. These are the serpents to deal with and to pull down. The serpent of bad marriage foundation. The serpent of generational curses. Serpent of evil dedication, evil covenant. The serpent of collective strong man just punishing everybody the same way. I know a family where every woman there, they've given all of them one spiritual husband that troubles the whole of the woman fold. These are the serpents we want to address now. You need two things here this morning. You need violent faith and violent prayers. But I want to give you the maximum assistance. If you are here, <laughs> you are not born again. You have not surrendered your life to Jesus. There's no way you can break this kind of generational curse. So, very quickly, I want to give you that opportunity. If you are here, you know you have not just surrendered your life to Jesus. And you like these bondages to be broken. Very quickly, get up on your seat, find your way to the altar 
here. So that I can pray with you here. Then you will be qualified to join this kind of prayers we are going to start very soon. It will be a tragedy if you come here and you escape the benefit of these prayers. So find a way to this altar very quickly. To surrender your life to Jesus. Jesus is waiting for you here. I long ago left Egypt for the promised land. I trusted in my Savior and to his guiding hand. He led me out to victory through the great Red Sea. I sung the song of triumph and shouted. Here at the altar, I congratulate you. Taking the most important decision in life. God bless you as you do so. Bow down your head, say what I'm going to say after. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for your children. There. Keep them standing by your power. Lay your hands upon their lives. In Jesus' name. Amen. Look at me here. See that pastor. They just follow this pastor for a few minutes. Or you can join us later. God bless us with this. Thank you, Jesus. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land. The Lord is my portion in the land of the living. The Lord is good forevermore. The Lord is my portion in the land of the living. The Lord is good forevermore. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. 
There are some people here. You have come from an idol worshipping family. The powers behind those idols. They are troubled that you are not serving them. And they have made plans to drag you back to serve them. This is why you have been passing through all kinds of troubles and terrible nightmares. If you fall into that category, you know the forces from your background have been appearing to harass you. Find a way to this altar and be on your knees as you pray these prayers. Make sure that nobody's voice is louder than yours. If you are going to come out, pray the way you've never prayed before. Say every yoke Trouble my family life. In the name of Jesus. Break in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. My family line. Can I hear you roaring like thunder? Receive deliverance in the name of Jesus.
Jesus' name we pray. So every cycle of hardship in my family. Now somebody needs to shout this loud. In the name of Jesus. Break the cycle. And fall, you know. Jesus' name we pray. Say, oh God, arise. Do a new thing in my family. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. So, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Let the mercy be released. Jesus, then we pray. This particular prayer. You need to get angry in the Holy Ghost before you pray them. And your voice needs to be the loudest here. Every gathering of ancient demons against my family. Can I hear everybody shouting this one? Your voice is not loud enough. Scatter! In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. The so, glory of my family.
Overshadow my family. Thank you, Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Now say this with only violence. Collective captivity of my father's house. Collective captivity of my mother's house. Can I hear you shouting those two things? What are you waiting for? In the name of Jesus. Bring out your twelve prayer. Father, I thank you for your children. Baba, who are celebrating their birthday this month. Let your power be upon their lives. Keep them standing by your power. Lay your hands upon them. By this time, let them become bigger bundle of testimonies. In Jesus' name we pray. Stretch that your prayer letter upwards. Stretch it upwards. Words. Father, we bring this prayer letter to you. You gave us the instructions to do so. You are the God that answered by fire. Answer by fire in the name of Jesus. Answer by fire in the name of Jesus. Answer by fire in the name of Jesus. To you, Father, be the glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray.